Hello! 2019 has been an awesome year for Blender users, so let's get to it. First type blender.org forward slash download. With this you'll access directly to the download page, which you can also find right here. Then if you want to be up to the latest version, click here on the rocket icon and you'll be taken into this page, which offers you your automatic build for your OS. We are interested in taking Blender 2.81 beta. Once this is released for the public, then 282 will be placed up here. But for now, let's just click 281 and then you get this um, confirmation download. You download it and once you download it, you can cut and paste it anywhere on your hard disk. So in my case, I'm pasting it onto the E program files and I'm naming this folder Blender 281. Now right click on this and unzip it, extract here. Blender is a very lightweight program application and it's contained between its own folder application. But in reality, it's, it's everything you need executed from the same folder. So I'm cutting the, the files that were extracted into this folder and obviously now that folder is empty, so I'm going to delete it. And then all we gotta do is find inside this folder, blender.exe, press enter, and then you'll be taken into Blender. That's it, that's everything you need to configure your, your to install your Blender application. Now I'm going to configure, I'm going to come here to edit, preferences and I need to tell my computer to work with Blender using the GPU plus the CPU and I come here to system and here we have the cycle render devices okay I'm going to switch this off and here on cycle render devices you can check all of your graphic cards that you have available plus your cores your CPU and GPU will be available for display here so you just mark that and in case that you are working with RTX card you have optics options available or if you're in Mac you have OpenCL options available to also check and what this means is that it's going to combine your graphic cards power plus your CPU power in order for it to compute now in any time that you would like to make a render you only have to press this little button right here so let's say I'm going to press shift A, I'm going to add a monkey, and now I'm going to press this uh, little little uh, icon right here. And now I'm working on my render mode, okay? You don't see anything because I haven't added any lights, I haven't added any other environment things, but this is the way you directly check things out in Blender. From there on, you can divide the windows, you can open new workspaces by clicking here and selecting any of the editors, so if you're ready, you only need to press this little button. So by the way, if you open uh, new windows and you come here, you can roll your mouse button over this top bar and you get scrolling. So this is the button that we earlier spoke about. So you press that and then you will automatically see your render right here. All right, so if you're ready to pilot Blender, of course, you can click here to hide every other overlay and then control spacebar so you can maximize that area. If you came to this video looking for Blender training, please check out the rest of the videos on my channel. I am a Blender Foundation certified trainer and I want to welcome you to the Blender community. Feel free to ask for help on the community tab on my channel and check the description below for the link. Your support to this channel is a generous click on the thumbs up thumbs like up, button soldier. and click on the bell notification button and your consideration to subscribe to Active Motion Pictures. Thank you for calling 1-800-I-LOVE-BLENDER.